Hello everybody, this is Gamer Gar, and welcome to a brand new Stardew Valley series. This is going to be the first of many videos designed to send you on your way to a nice, cozy, sleepy slumber. So the first thing we're going to do is close our eyes, take a few nice deep breaths, and we're going to get nice and cozy in our beds. I am going to play through Stardew Valley in a very nice and relaxing manner. We're not going to do our usual challenge run our 100 day hardcore challenges. We're just going to play Stardew the way Concerned Abe meant for it to be played. Nice and calm. Cozy. No stress. Now it's time to rest. And enjoy Stardew Valley for the game that it is. Calm and peaceful. So we're going to start our fabulous first day by just cutting down a couple of trees. And once we have all these trees cut down, we're going to make ourselves a nice chest so we can store all of our tools and items in. There's also lots of fibre scattered all over the farm. So we're going to use our sight now in a second. Go and gather all that nice fiber up. Because later on, we can use that fiber to make some really nice items, such as tea saplings. The first thing I'm trying to achieve here on the farm is to clear a path from the two exits so I can come and go as much as I want without being restrained much by a lot of objects on the ground. Once I place down my chest here, I'm going to put in all of the sap and wood and other items that I collected. We're now going to hold the ground, and we're going to haul out 15 spots here to plant our lovely parsnips. Once all the parsnips are planted, we might go for a nice stroll into town, talk to some of the Pelican Town villagers. I'm sure they'll all have interesting things to say to us on the first day. We also might run around the map and look for forageables that we can pick up. The forageables will come in real handy later on. What I have now is just a hole, because you never know what you might find in the ground in Stardew Valley. I'm just looking around the bus here now to see if we can spot any forageables, and we're just going to Zoom out the screen here, just so we can see a lot more of the map when we're transversing. Just got a nice leak there. Three forgeables to go. We're going to take a quick left turn here now, run up by the fountain. And there's a daffodil here we're going to pick up off the ground. There's a lot of weeds up there too, so we might come back with a sight in the next day or two collect all those. We should all now be nice and relaxed in our beds. Just focus on the sound of my voice. And just close your eyes and take some nice deep breaths. And just think about all those nice lovely dreams you're going to have tonight. So we're going to spend the rest of the day taking a nice stroll around Pelican Town, talking to all these cosy NPCs. We're just talking to Mary Lewis now at the moment. And Mary Lewis has some very interesting dialogue about her grandpa. Mary Lewis says that our grandpa was never a fan of the bed that we're using at the moment because it always had a, a creak. It creaked every time he stepped on it. But deep down, Mary Lewis feels that our grandpa really loved that bed. And I'm sure most of our beds have creaks here and there. 
But once we get into a nice, relaxing position, I'm sure we won't mind those creaks. Leah tells us we picked a really good time to move into Pelican Town because spring is a really nice season in Stardew Valley. You've got a nice blend of rain and sunshine. And sometimes listening to the sound of falling rain really helps me to relax. So we're taking a nice walk through Cindersap Forest at the moment. And we're picking up a couple of forageables here and there. What I'm really hoping for today is a nice horseradish that I can put back in my chest. Because once we learn those lovely spring seeds, we can use the horseradish along with the dandelion we just got there. Combine that with the leek and the daffodil, of course. We can make some nice spring seeds for even more vegetables. Even the wizard is out of his tower in spring. And he tells us that we more or less have free will. We can do what we like. Jess is having a great time skipping on her rope. She can't seem to get past four skips right now. I'm sure she'll improve as time progresses. We're just walking past Marnie's ranch. Speak of the devil. And she appears. Marnie in the flesh. And Marnie sells nice cozy chickens and cows, pigs and sheep and rabbits that we can get later on set up a nice cozy farm with lots of nice animals Harvey here is the town doctor we can all go to Harvey if we're feeling a bit down he'll heal us right up we're going to have a quick chat with Caroline now Caroline, she has her own little sunroom. And later on, Caroline will tell us all about the tea sapling. She'll tell us about her favourite green tea and how she loves it so. Sometimes you just can't beat a nice cup of tea. We're just walking past the museum here which is home to Gunther. And we're going to try to collect all the artifacts for good old Gunther. We just walked past Clint's place as well. And he's going to upgrade all our tools. Provided give him some bars and some coin. Abigail here says, Oh, she heard we just moved in. She said it's kind of a shame. She really liked exploring our farm because it was overgrown. <laughs> Abigail is so adventurous. That's what I like about Abigail. It's good to be adventurous sometimes. Sometimes you just have to take that leap of faith. Just take a chance. See what happens. So we're just going to run up here now into the mountain area. And we're going to meet Demetrius. We're also going to use our hoe here and get some clay. And we put a nice leak up from the ground. Demetrius here is the local scientist. He's also a father of two kids, Maru and Sebastian. And Demetrius here will come in very handy later on once we start making some money. He'll give us a choice between a mushroom cave and a bat cave. And we can choose if we want to grow mushrooms or if we want the bats to collect fruit for us. We also meet 
the humble Linus. And he lives in a tent just up from Robin and Demetrius's house. Linus used to be a very wealthy man, but he gave up his wealth to live a more simpler life. A life free of the stresses of modern technologies. We've managed to do a nice lap around Pelican Town, around Stardew Valley. We're now back in our nice cozy farm. Our farm is a little bit overgrown at the moment, just like Abigail said. We will eventually turn this overgrown farm into a nice cozy farm. We'll turn it into a place that we can call home. A place where we can sit back and relax. So we're going to clear away some weeds here. We're going to mine some stone. And we're going to cut down all those logs to make some space. There's also a tree here. We're going to cut it down, get some wood. You just got to level up there and foraging, which is really nice. So once we go to bed, we can learn that nice spring seed recipe. Our energy is pretty low at the moment, but it's only six o'clock in the day. But as we can see, Pelican Down is slowly but surely getting darker and darker. And the sun is going down. And we're getting really tired. Soon enough, we're also going to be in bed. And we're going to very slowly take some nice deep breaths close our eyes. Any tension or stress that we accumulated today, we're just going to let it go and we're going to forget about it. Because right now, the only thing that matters is for us to get some nice quality sleep. best way to get some nice quality sleep is to just sit back and relax and take some nice deep controlled breaths in and out in and out in and out and slowly but surely we're going to drift away into the dream world we're going to have nice cozy dreams Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you all in the next video. Good night and sleep tight.